It lasted just a few days, but when it came, the military clampdown in Myanmar was brutal. This is the first time some of these images have been aired on television. Filmed in Yangon by Al Jazeera cameras, they capture the horrifying moments when the army took back the streets from the people. Some soldiers were in bare feet in case they had to enter religious shrines. That's as far as the respect went. Soldiers beat and arrested monks who were simply protesting peacefully. But even they snapped and hit back and for a few fleeting moments caused the police and soldiers to run. For nearly two weeks, Al Jazeera secretly filmed in Yangon, recording the life and death of a popular uprising. All these people are in total, total open defiance of what the military have said. Not banning more than five people from gathering at any one place. Now the army and the riot police are lining up. They're now announcing for the people to disperse or they will move in. It seems as if the start of the crackdown is now beginning. Myanmar was watched by the world, but it was only on the streets, sometimes under fire, when you got a true sense of the magnitude of this uprising and the desire of the people to free themselves from 45 years of oppressive military rule. And through secret filming, we showed the military grip on the city. The army is today back in control of the streets and the holy shrines, and the climate of fear is even greater than before. The people fear the generals, the generals fear the people, but thousands of people, many of them monks, are still unaccounted for, it is claimed. We have noted that there's far fewer monks on the street. You ordinarily, when you walk around the city in the morning, there's monks everywhere. And there are some that are out, but most of them are not. And it's very worrying to think what has happened to the monks. Monks can still be seen collecting arms, but their numbers have been cut and their voice silenced. But there is still spirit and defiance alive on the streets of Yangon. No, 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 no. We never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget. We will not surrender. We will never lose. We will be winning. You think? Yeah, I think. I believe. A diplomatic front has opened up to try and produce a solution for Myanmar. There is talk of truth and reconciliation. The reality is, however, that the truth of what the military has done to the monks and the people is so brutal and so cruel that it will be difficult, if not impossible, to bring about any lasting reconciliation. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Yangon.